Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Everything Scuba. I'm Lyle. Hey everybody, I'm Josh. Lyle and I are avid divers as well as scuba instructors here in the Midwest. We are. We're pretty passionate about scuba diving. We want you to find your passion right here at Everything Scuba. Uh, if you're a diver, you want to be a better diver, know more about diving, you want to learn how to scuba dive, uh, this is a great place to come visit. So click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, don't miss out on upcoming episodes. So Josh, this is part three, correct? Part three. So the first part was kind of all the recommendations we have for generic surface signaling devices, things that you should carry for safety. The second one was SMBs and DSMBs. And you can find these links above my head uh, for more information on that. Today we're getting kind of high tech and Lyle's going to explain to us yeah. what this yeah. new technology is. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about a marine rescue GPS unit. Uh, this is a, a unit that I own. I go diving if I'm ocean diving. Uh, this is clipped off to me. Uh, basically, uh, if I were to get separated from my group, I get lost at sea, which we don't want to get lost at sea. Um, I can pop this unit open, press the button to activate it, and it's going to broadcast my GPS signal uh, over about a 34 mile nautical mile radius uh, to passing vessels on the emergency channels. Uh, invented up in the uh, Pacific Northwest uh, in Alaska by Captain Mike Lever uh, with uh, Nautilus. He also owns Nautilus Liverboards, which I've uh, traveled with them. Phenomenal organization. Uh, we'll talk a lot more about them on a Liverboard episode. Uh, but I'm going to walk you through what does this do, how does it function. Uh, it actually comes with an, uh, an app, an application to activate it, program it with your information. And uh, we'll go talk about that now. Welcome back, guys. Um, so we did a little introduction to the uh, Marine Rescue GPS in our previous program uh, where we talked about surface uh, signaling uh, devices. And uh, this essentially is a, a small radio that will transmit on emergency frequencies uh, from the surface. Uh, if we were to become separated from our dive boat uh, or for shore diving, we get caught in a rip current, we're getting carried out to sea, uh, we're not in visual uh, contact with uh, any craft that can pick us up. Uh, basically what this guy does is it'll pop open, a little antenna will come out, and once we activate the unit, it'll broadcast our GPS position uh, on those emergency marine channels um, for about 34 nautical miles around you. And uh, it's pretty accurate, it gets down to about a meter to a meter and a half, so about six and a half to nine feet uh, of accuracy uh, of your position at sea. So um, I routinely use these uh, if I'm ocean diving, uh, just never know, uh, uh, worth, the, worth the insurance, I guess. Um, I took a, uh, a trip with Nautilus uh, liveaboards last year uh, in the Sea of Cortez, and uh, they actually provide these for the trip uh, for all of the divers on board. Um, I actually had mine, and so we just keep it uh, tied on. So I attach mine. I've got uh, just a little uh, uh, bolt clip here. Um, clip it to my BCD. I then usually have a simple slip knot tied in, so if I ever had to pull it out, we can release that, and I have access to it. So uh, this unit actually comes with a uh, an app, and so you have to activate the uh, GPS unit when you first get it, and so uh, we'll walk you through that process here in just a bit. So this is depth rated to 425 feet, which as recreational divers, we're, we're never gonna reach that. And the internal components of this are um, splash proof, not waterproof. So we don't wanna pop this lid open um, at 60 feet or 30 feet. Uh, we wanna be at the surface when we uh, actually open this up. Uh, it uses two uh, CR123 uh, lithium ion batteries. And uh, from what Nautilus tells us, uh, that'll give you about five years of battery life uh, if you uh, care for it properly. There's a little battery expiration date that you can attach on the back here. And to put the batteries in, pretty easy. I'll show you here once I pop it open. So to actually open this unit up, we just release the clip 
on the side. This will open up at that point. And so we can see there's three buttons here. This blue button actually turns the unit on, so simply depress and release, and that will show us that the unit is now on. That flashing means that uh, it actually it still needs to be programmed. There's a yellow test button. Uh, when pushed, will turn yellow, keep pushing it, and eventually it'll show you it'll flash yellow. Tells you that the battery life is still good inside of here, and uh, we're, we're good to go. There's a red button that I physically can't push right now. There's a plastic cap over the top of the antenna, and you can see the antenna wound up inside here. So if I were to release that, the antenna would pop loose. It gives you access to the red button. Obviously, in an emergency situation, you're going to push that button, and uh, it'll start broadcasting your, your signal. It broadcasts on, uh, I believe, AIS and DCS, which are kind of the, the global... Uh, marine emergency uh, services uh, channels uh, on channel 16, I believe, on, on most boats. That essentially is kind of like calling 911 to the Coast Guard or any surrounding vessels in that 34 uh, mile radius. Um, it will actually, it's almost like ringing their radio and telling you that, hey, there's a, a diver overboard and this is his position. Uh, so a pretty ingenious unit. Um, what I'm going to do now is we'll kind of walk through the process of setting this up when you first get it. Um, and so on the back side of this, you'll see that uh, it shows you some of the uh, specific information regarding this unit. On the Nautilus GPS uh, app, right here, first page is going to ask you to enter the serial number, which is right here. There's the MMSI number, we don't want to put that in right now, but there's the serial number 18309-2663, so we'll go ahead and enter that, 18309-2663. Once we're done with that, we're just going to hit Next. Then it's going to ask you to choose a region. Uh, generally, I just choose International, uh, kind of the, the catch-all for uh, all sites. And so international, next. That's going to enter the ship MMSI number. And that is the uh, number that would allow this unit to directly send a VHF signal to the ship that you are going to be diving from. So if you're on a liveaboard, uh, that would be their number, kind of like giving the phone number for this unit to be able to call the ship. Uh, it still continually uh, rings out on the other channels also, but since we're not diving from a ship, we can just enter next, and then it's going to walk me through the next process of turning it on. Um, we're going to make sure that the room's going to be a little bit darker, and uh, we'll walk you through that process in just one second. So I've gone ahead and turned off the overhead lights. We still have a little bit of sunlight coming through our window here. Hopefully that doesn't disturb the process. Um, we'll put that back to our blue flash. There we go. And so what we're going to do now is we've turned it on. Uh, the instructions tell me to shield it from excess light uh, from above. And then we're going to hold the device about 5 to 15 centimeters, about 2 to 6 inches above the uh, Marine Rescue GPS. Point the flashlight at the antenna pocket and press start. So we're going to program. You can see that it's going to start strobing at the unit. And as it does so, it's adding that program information. Now it's done. The unit should give me a flash, which it did. And that tells me now that it is appropriately programmed and has my information in it now. Uh, and we're ready to, to roll. So we just package this back up. I generally don't leave it turned on if I'm not diving. Turn it back off, close her up. Go ahead and lock it. I'll turn the lights back on here. All right, we're back and uh, we should have a little bit of better lighting at this point. So. Um, Retail cost on this, um, I've seen anywhere from around $160 on Amazon. I know you can buy this directly from the, the Nautilus Lifeline uh, site uh, directly. 
and so anywhere from 160 to 200 dollars, uh, which uh, uh, it, you know it, that's that's uh, some money. But um, if you were ever in need of someone to come get you, uh, it might be uh, an insurance policy that was money well spent. So. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit more information on this since we had introduced it previously. Uh, like I said, you can also get a nice rubberized coating for this and uh, that would protect it a little bit further. Um, otherwise, there are ways to attach it to your BC. So I appreciate you guys listening. Uh, if you felt this was useful, give us a, a like on that uh, button down below. Uh, if you have uh, any interesting stories about utilizing something like this to be rescued, uh, leave us some comments. Uh, I'd love to hear about that. Thanks again.